Hey everybody, welcome to Review Time with Islip. I am Islip, and today we're going to be taking a look at Nose Cone, aka Hammer Sharpener. Hammer Sharpener. What a dumb name. He is a drill tank. And, um, honestly, out of all of these guys, he is the one I like the least. I mean, his robot mode is not bad, but it's just, just too much going on. These little bits here hanging off, um, they fall down. I don't know why. They go up, but they don't plug in, so they don't stay. They just start lagging down. Uh, he's got a little hammer that, that comes out of his... Uh, drill that's pretty cool uh, you got a spiked end you've got a flat end uh, he has guns that come out of his turrets again don't know why but hey they are there I don't know if that was indicative of the original design or the toy I don't think so but he's pretty nifty I like that his knees have rockets that's actually pretty cool he's pretty nice let's go ahead and he's got a wiggly wiggly squeaky squeaky his arms rotate. Oh, I hate that. It's kind of ratcheted, but oh, in and out. They actually clip up here, but if you clip them, then they are. They don't. You can't put his arm straight up and down. Well, you kind of can, but not really. It doesn't want to do it. I'm not going to fight it. Uh, he's got a double elbow that's pretty cool uh, no rotations anywhere hands open and close and they rotate and then this can be folded away if you don't want it I don't like that the treads come underneath the hands uh, again that was probably how it was in the G1 but I don't like that um, rotation here it rotates both ways there you go but it, it's getting hooked on something I don't know what um, legs go forward that far go back that far and get less than 90 degrees his toes can do this and they rotate oh, I hate that sound he does have a ankle tilt, and his heel folds up, and that's it. Again, he's not bad, and I think uh, he. I want to say he's he's like he is masterpiece in scale, but he doesn't feel like a masterpiece, even by the old masterpiece uh, standards. He. It just, this I don't know, something about the plastic and the colors that they used, and there's just too much with these panel lines. Well, not, not even panel lines, just too many lines. It's just a little too busy for me. I, I mean, this is perfect. This is a good, you know, it's a good balance between cartoon. He has six six-pack? Hold on a second. Why the hell does he have a six-pack? I never noticed that. One, two, he has a six-pack. Okay, whatever. I mean, he's kind of got abs too, but they don't look like human abs. Um, I, f I forgot if I said that he's got a rotation at the thigh. Um, he's okay. He's okay. Let's see. MP10. Um, again, he should be big. He should be at least his head should at least come up to Optimus Prime's shoulders. I'm just saying. So, uh, let's go ahead and get him transformed. Be right back. Here we go with the drill tank mode. And, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, it's not my cup of tea. And, honestly, I don't like how the drill is on the top here instead of, I don't know, being down more like this. Would make more sense to me but hey that's the way it is that's the way it is you know what I might have this upside down hold on a second because it's supposed to 
tab in. Now that looks a little bit better. I will just take these off. So that looks a little bit better. It actually, that tab goes into that slot there. I had it up, upside down. Oh, there we go. So it's not a bad tank. It doesn't have any wheels. It doesn't really roll so much as it slides everywhere. And for some reason, these bits here come off. I don't know. Maybe you can put them on the top and have more guns. Oh, they're not guns. They're knives. I forgot. He has knives. Yeah, he has knives. More weapons. I completely forgot. Did I forget about anybody else's hidden weapons? I don't think so. So, yeah. So, he's, he's pretty cool. And uh, let's check him out with MP10. And he is about as long as MP10 if you count this drill bit. It's fairly big-ish. Let's go with MP car. Um, I mean, the bodies are about the same length if you don't count the nose cone, but this guy is definitely wider. And then to get him into his his, uh, what do you call it mode? It's not that hard. Let's see if I can do it with on the camera. Okay, that goes like that comes down. We have to swing this all down like this. Like this? Okay, like this. Okay. And this goes like that. You can kind of angle this out if you want to. It goes like that. And then we open the legs here. And this piece here is an extra piece. Yes, it is. I don't care if it means that this thing will be stable-er than their last figure. That's fine with me. I will do it. So we do that. We take these bits. The guns just get pegged in underneath in the back a weapon storage and then we take the other foot slide it in and unplug this back in again come on and there you go you have the other leg for Computron done. So that's where we're going to end it. Oh, well, actually, let's show off again size of the leg compared to an MP Carbot and compared to MP10. Because as far as I'm concerned, this is MP scale. And I know it's not quite as big as like the Menosaur. Oh my god, that thing is gigantic. And I guess that's a truer MP scale. But I mean, I, I still feel like this is... The individual bots are scaled to MP pretty well. So that said, I am Islip. Thanks for watching. Catch me soon for the other one. Other two bots. We got two more bots to go. And then we're done. Yay! Ciao.